Hi guys, shaky man again. I'm in a mirror today. Um, it's in Australia here today. It's Melbourne Cup Day, which is our horse race that stops the nation every year. Um, so Shane and I are going to go out for a Melbourne Cup luncheon today. So I thought I'd come on early and, and um, put some makeup on with you guys and show you how um, simple things in life are simple with it too, as I keep saying. Um, so let's try this. Uh, some, I just want to thank you all guys um, before I start uh, with your prayers are, are helping with our baby. Um, last week, uh, as I've told you before, I'm just going to um, put a couple of dots of concealer on to a couple of red spots while I'm talking about this. Um, as I've said before, they, the doctors, they... Um, At first, in the same hospital that Renee was booked into, um, they oh, getting confused. They um, were arguing over. One was saying it was the heart that was wrong. One was saying it was the brain that was wrong. Um, and they were in the same department in the same hospital. I just couldn't understand why they wouldn't walk into each other's office and work it out without. Um, upsetting a, a, um, a pregnant lady like that. So last week, Renee went for her MRI. Um, she hadn't heard back from the neurosurgeon. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I think I've rubbed it all off. <laughs> um, so she went back to a uh, the, the midwife last week after the MRI. And the midwife um, said that the report... Um, Guys, I just use powder. I don't bother about foundation. Foundation just creases in all my wrinkles all the time. <laughs> so I just find a, a colour that shade a, a bit darker than me. Um, it puts a bit of colour on my face. Um, yeah, so she went to see her midwife um, the other day and her midwife, the report was written out for the neurosurgeon. So the midwife couldn't understand it. She got a doctor in to have a look and the doctor couldn't really understand it too. But what they told her was, oh, Renee, it looks like the um, the left and right side of the baby's brain isn't connected. Um, so now it's up to the neurosurgeon whether the neurosurgeon wants to be more concerned about the brain or be more concerned about the lungs. So... Um, that's what we were left with over the weekend. So, it, of course, we were a mess, like trying to sink that in as well as the the blockage in the brain and the fluid in the brain. And But they did say you'll have to wait for the neurosurgeon to ring you because the neurosurgeon will be able to decipher the report better. So yesterday she got a phone call from the neurosurgeon and the neurosurgeon has said um, there's no blockage anymore. Um, the fluid is draining, but it's there is. Um, baby does have a genesis of the corpus callosum, um, which is the right and left side of the brain that isn't connected properly. Um, so the fluid's not getting across to the right and left side of the brain properly. Um, and it's funny, the report that Renee sent me, it says um, ACC, which is that, can occur as an isolated condition or in combination with um, other cerebral abnormalities, including Arnold, Arnold Chiari malformation, which is what Renee has. So those two must be connected. Um, we still can't find out if ET is connected to all of it as well. So thank you very much, guys, for all your prayers. You are helping us so much. Um, please continue them because this isn't over yet. But the neurosurgeon did say to Renee, um, Renee, you can now have a normal birth. 
we won't have to take the baby out early. Um, the longer the baby stays in there, the better at the moment. So the best news we've had so far with all these mess ups, and this is what gets me with our doctors, um, our medical system over here. Everyone was sort of wrong. So now why are they telling expected mothers this if they haven't got their information right in the first place? So, but we, um, we're so happy when we got the report yesterday, the call yesterday, we were so happy and so excited that this is the best news we've had so far. So fingers crossed and please keep that, those prayers coming because I know it's you guys that are doing this for us. And Renee, Reese, Bronte and I thank you so, so much. All right, eyeliner, guys. Now, like I've told you this before, I get eyelash extensions on where it's individually, I close my eyes, they individually glue an eyelash um, to my eyelashes um, so I don't ever worry about mascara. <laughs> you saw me the other week. I'm not touching that crap again. <laughs> eyeliner. I put eyeliner on all the time. You know, ET took a lot of things away from me over the, my life, but I'm pushing myself with you guys and getting it all back. Eyeliner is one thing that ET hasn't taken away from me. I find a way to do it. I um, support my hands everywhere. That's a bit hard because I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I hope my hair's not in the way. Now, I kept snapping the blade, the um, the um, lead of my other one, and this is a new one, so it's not going on as dark as the other one did. It needs to be worn in a bit first, but I'm getting there. I just, I use the um, I roll it out far enough so that it's actually on my eyeball, and then I color in using the side of the um, of the lead. Oh, and I can't see. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, I'm getting it there. Oh. Oh, that's a warning. Poked it too many times. Now I'm going to wipe it out a bit longer. Now I only go on the waterline. It goes under the waterline and gives me those panda eyes because it's that's where it's going. <laughs> I can't fix that. As I said, with the um, lashes, I don't have to um, put mascara on. Oh, this is tough. Getting these lids up. I should want, I'll wind the lid down so I'm not going to snap him off again. Oh, there we go. <sighs> with these eyelashes, they do give you a, a, one of these spoolie things. I just normally use my finger to um, try and separate them. I find the spoolie pulls them out too quick. They normally last me. A, a, I got them done two weeks before my birthday. Um, so when was that? Last week. So it's been three weeks now. They normally last me about six weeks before they start looking all crappy and getting and start to fall out and um look a bit gappy but they um just make me feel like i've got some makeup on <laughs> we can't give up everything for ed can we all right and just some lippy so that's all i do just powder eyeliner and the lippy that's hard enough i'm exhausted <laughs> already <laughs> 
and just one swipe will do. Um, I leave the lipstick down and just use the, the tip, otherwise, once again, you break everything off because you're so heavy. Your shapes are so heavy handed when they're, um, they're going. So let me just move the mirror out the way. I want to show you my pretty dress. Uh, isn't that pretty? <laughs> All right, guys. So I did it. That'll do. That's it. all they wrote. <laughs> Can't do any more. It's too hard. All right, guys. Have a great shaky day. Um, love you all. Take care. Um, please continue those prayers for our baby. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. We know it's it's the power from all of you guys that are helping us. So um, love you all. Take care. Stay safe. Um, to Australians, good luck in the Melbourne Cup race today. Um, hope you pick that winner. Um, to everyone else around the world, I hope you had a great Halloween, America. Australia doesn't really celebrate it. We're starting to at the moment um, in the last 10 years or so but only a few houses each street sort of celebrated at the moment. Um, we don't because we've got no neighbours around us. It's just us down here in this corner of our, our little um, private road. So no one comes down here to see us. So I hope everyone has a great shaky week. I'll see you on Friday. I am getting back to all of your messages, guys. Facebook and Messenger thought it would be funny to let me know how many messages I had, but I couldn't see them all. So I had to download the apps, reload them, and um, now I'm seeing them all, but I've got so many to get through. I will get to you. Love you all. Thank you once again. Stay safe. Take care. See you on Friday. Bye, guys. Bye.